Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be looking at the configuration of products for the e-commerce page with the help of Odoo 15 website module. In Odoo, you can configure products for your e-commerce site from the backend as well as the frontend. So we are going to discuss both of these methods in this video so that you will be able to understand how Odoo simplifies the product configuration for users. The product configuration from the backend can be done with the help of product menu given in the main menu bar of the website module. The method is similar to that of the product configuration in the sales, purchase, inventory and rental modules. And you can use the create button to create a new record of a product. Here in this product configuration window, we can define the name of the product and additional informations in the general information, attributes and variants, sales, purchase, inventory, accounting and eBay tabs. So here we can provide the uh, product name. In order to enhance the view on the e-commerce page, you are allowed to add images of the product in the specified field. Then here we can mention the type of product that you are configuring for your e-commerce page in the product type field. Then the invoicing policy can be set on ordered quantities or delivered quantity. In the corresponding field you can specify the unit of measure, purchase unit of measure, sales price, uh, ta customer taxes, tax cloud category, cost, product category, internal reference, barcode and the company here. And sometimes a product may contain various attributes and variants. So you can specify those variants and attributes by clicking on this add a line option here. So providing different variants of a product will be helpful for customers to select suitable one that will also improve your online sales. Here the sales tab includes important field to define that help to improve online sales. Upselling and cross-selling method will help the company attracts customer attention to the products on your website. So here you can also provide optional products to customer that complement the main product while adding a product to their cart. Similarly, the accessory products can be used to increase cross-selling. So this strategy will give suggested accessory to customers before completing the payment process. The alternative products are used as an upselling strategy that suggests alternative products to the customers on the product page. So here we can add an alternative product. Additionally, we can mention the website on which you want to publish the product. Then here we can add the website sequence categories to which this product can be added and ribbons. So you can inform customers regarding the status of the product using the ribbons like new, limited stock, out of stock, etc. And if you want to make this product available in the point of sale, we can active the POS field here. Then the description of the product can be added in the sales description tab. Now let's move on to the purchase tab. Here the list of vendors of this particular product can be specified using the add a line option along with the details of the subcontract, currency, quantity, unit of measure, price and delivery later. Additionally, we can define the reordering, vendor taxes and control policy and purchase description in the specified field here. The details regarding the inventory management of the product can be included in the inventory tab. Here we can set the routes of operations, counterpart location and logistics of the product in this field. 
here in this accounting tab the income account commodity uh, commodity code country of origin expense account price uh, difference account and email template can be added in the corresponding field and if you want to sell the product on ebay you are allowed to activate the sell on ebay option available here in this tab so the ebay status can be seen in this tab here we can add the title subtitle item condition category store category payment policy return policy and shipping policy in the specified field and also you can define the listing type starting price for auction uh, buy it now price uh, and the ebay description here and if you want to add a template for the description you can add it in the description template field and by activating this allow best offer and private list field odoo will allow you to provide best offers and private listing options on ebay after completing all the specified field in the product configuration window you can publish this product on your company website so we can click on this go to website button here and here you will be able to see the name of the product along with its name uh, image on your website and here the status of the product is now unpublished so you can change it to published by clicking on the same button the attributes and variants uh, of the product that we mentioned in the back end can be seen here in this wing, website wing, website page and when you scrolls down we will get the list of alternative products that we configured in the back end while adding the product to your cart you will get the list of optional products on your e-commerce page and the list of accessory product can be found when the customer proceeds to checkout So this is how we configure a product for an e-commerce page in the back end using Odoo website model. Now we will look at the configuration of products on the e-commerce side from the front end. In order to configure a new product on your e-commerce site, you can use the new button available on the top right corner of the window. So this button includes advanced op option to publish various types of content on your website. So here we can create a new page blog post event forum job offer product course and appointment form for your website with the help of this button in order to configure a new product on the e-commerce site we need to select the product option from the given list so a pop-up window will appear on the screen here we can simply mention the name of the product in this window and then click on this create button in order to continue and product configuration process now the user will get a draft view of the product on your shop page that has not been published yet so here odoo offers an efficient website builder system for uh, users to design each page on your website as per user's requirement and it is possible to customize each page based on your preferences so here the edit button will assist you to enhance the view of the product on the website and add necessary features to the highlight the product. So if you want to change the name of the product, you can do it with the help of the editing tools here. Additionally, you can add a small description about the product price and terms and conditions here. And if you want to add more features to the product page, you can use suitable snippets from the editing panel. And uh, double clicking on the field given to configure images of the product will give a pop up where you can upload attractive images of the product. So, after adding an image and completing the editing process, you can click on the save button. Now we can change the status to the published in order to publish this product on your e-commerce site. 
And if you want to add more information regarding these products such as attributes, variants, shipping policies, packaging method, accounting and many other sales related details, you can configure those details in the backend. When you click on the uh, down arrow simple near the edit button, you will get the option to edit in backend. Just like we discussed in the earlier part of this video, you can effortlessly configure additional details in the backend. So this product is already published on the website, so you don't need to publish it again. All you have to do is click on the edit button and configure the details of the product in the specified spaces. So don't forget to click on the save button after completing the editing. So the method of configuring a new product in Odoo are quite simple as compared to other ERP systems. From backend and frontend, a user can add new products to an e-commerce page seamlessly with the guidance of the product configuring system available in Odoo website module. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching.